Hey, what is up everyone? Uh, this is Jeff Stevens, and this is the tutorial to show you how to add a transparent logo to any image that you want to using the um, website Pixlr. So as you can see, I've already pulled up Pixlr in my browser. Um, this is pixlr.com in the address bar. So once you land on Pixlr, this is the introductory page. What we'll wanna do is go here to the Pixlr editor, click on that guy. And we're going to open up our base image that will be used um, to put the transparent logo on. So we'll go to open image from our computer. We then choose the location and the image we want to use. In this case, I'm going to use this gasmask.jpg. Open that guy up. So there's our image. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my logo for the Crazy Dad Life website. I'll go to file, open image. And again, I pull up the image I want, which is this header image. And this is a transparent background. You can see transparent.png is what I named it, so I know that. I open that guy up. There he is. So now what I do is I go to Edit, Select All. As you can see, there's a slight um, dotted line that's animated around the selected image that selects everything in that image. It makes it very easy instead of having to try and drag and hope that you've selected everything using the marquee tool. So I've selected everything. I then go to edit, copy. Now I set focus back to the original image window. So that's this guy over here. And I go back to edit. I hit paste and there's my logo. And you see it's transparent. So everything is being seen behind, which is the base level image there. So now what I want to do is it's too big. So I want to stick it up in the top left corner. So what I'll want to do here is again, it is the selected layer. You see it's down here, um, layer number one. That's the name of this layer. And then here's the background layer. So it, the layer one is selected. I go over to edit, free transform. And what that does is it puts this little, these little selector, um, uh, these selector boxes around it. Sorry, I couldn't think of what it was. Uh, the selector box is around it. And when you select it, you see you can rotate it. The icon or the arrow will actually change based on the function it performs. So right now it's set as a rotation where you can rotate the icon around if you want. And as you move closer to it, it'll show up as in the resizing tool. And in this case, we want to resize it. So we want to make it smaller. So if I select that guy and I start moving it, what happens is, look, the, the text actually fluctuates or it dynamically changes, you know, skinny or fat based on uh, me moving that guy around. Now, I don't want to do that because what it does is it distorts my image. So I'm going to go up here. As soon as I click on something else, it's going to ask me if I want to apply those changes. I'm going to say no. So there's my, my image back again. So now I'm going to go back to the free transform tool. I'm going to select the corner. And now what you do here is you hold down the shift key when you do this. So press the shift key and then drag, select with the mouse and then drag the guy to make him smaller. And what that does is it maintains the aspect ratio so your, your letters don't get distorted in your particular logo or your image doesn't get distorted. So now that that's been done, as soon as I click somewhere else, it's going to ask me, do I want to apply those changes? I say yes. And then I can go over here to my uh, move tool and I can go select again, the layer is selected. So as soon as I grab this guy, I can just move him around just like, just like anything else. When you grab him, you move him around. So I'm gonna put him up here in the corner. Now I like that. I like how it looks. I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna call this uh, gas mask uh, logo. It's a JPEG, which is fine. Quality is fine. And that is it. I'm going to hit OK. It's going to ask me where. I'm going to stick it in my images folder with the other ones. You'll see up here, gasmasklogo.jpg. Hit save, and I'm done. And uh, Thank you very much for checking out this tutorial on how to add a transparent logo to your image.